Hey guys, um, today I'm going to bring you a video about the uh, Galaxy Nexus itself. Um, I will show you how you guys actually flash custom ROM into the um, Galaxy Nexus. So as this one, as you can see, this one I get like quite a nice boxed up version of the uh, Galaxy Nexus. I I do own one last time, but it's um it's a grey color version, and that um it's not here anymore. So I got it got this off refurbished, and nicely it actually comes with all the box and packages and stuff which you see. Um, they have a quick start guide. They have a like a cable. So you can see a cable. Um, a headset, which is pretty good, and as well as a charger. Now, of course, all this stuff, I do not know whether it's original, but um, I don't really use it, so it's fine. It's just good to see, actually, to, to actually have all this stuff included. So, I'll leave a link down below if you guys are interested in getting one of these refurbished uh, version, which comes with all this stuff. And, of course, there are other refurbished versions as well, as you can take a look at. And, of course, this is a phone that I actually get. Um, since I'm getting a white color, sometimes it's pretty hard. Uh, it's pretty easy to get dirty and stuff, so... I would actually like a sim sim simplified case for this. Um, so this is a simple case, simplistic case, and it's pretty cheap. I think it's only a few dollars, and the quality is pretty good. I mean, it's like soft and stuff, and and it's yeah, it just feels good for this one, right? So okay, uh, without further ado, let us get on to this. Um, so in today's video, I'm gonna show you how actually how you actually flash Lineage OS for this, because the stock ROM for this is only up to four point three. Right, which is the uh, KitKat or Jelly Bean, you can call it. But um, for on Lineage itself, it's up to Android six, so it will be um, it'll be more up to date. It will have more security patches and stuff. So more up to date security patches. So and um, it will be more useful for you actually if you want actually to flash to that if you are still using this phone. So um, let us get on with it. Okay, first of all, before we start, we need to make sure that we have the uh, <coughs> USB debugging enable. So if you see a develop option here, there is no. So normally what we do, we just go to about phone, then we go to the build number, and we just double tap on the build number until you are now a developer. Then you can go to develop options. Uh, sorry, go back to develop options, and enable USB debugging. Right. That okay. So once you have that ready, we can actually go to the computer for the next setup. Okay. Uh, before we start. Of course, first of all, we need to make sure ADB is, is installed in your computer. So I'll leave a link down below on where you should install, uh, where you should get the ADB. I'm using minimal ADB and fast boot. It's, it's, it's one of the simplest uh, ADB for you to use. Of course, the next thing you need to do is to make sure you have downloaded all the uh, necessary stuff. Uh, for example, you need the TWRP recovery. And you need open jets as well as the lineage os itself the latest nightly for you to actually flash to your phone and of course first thing first that we need to do is to make sure yeah make sure to check the connection to the phone so here what we do is uh, normally we'll do a adv devices to make sure the connection is ready so if you look at it uh, Normally, it's unauthorized. Uh, first time when you connect, yeah, because there's something that you need to actually accept on the phone itself. So normally, when you when you actually um, the first time you connect and you run ADB devices, they will basically have this message here to ask whether you allow USB debugging. You need to click yes because they need to trust the computer for the connection to happen. So you check on always allow and click on OK. So once that is done, your computer should actually have the device listed. <laughs> during ADB devices so okay once you accepted the um, connectivity in your uh, connection in your phone you can actually run ADB devices again you can see that device is reconnected there's a device there so the next thing you need to do is actually make sure that you copy all the relevant files that you need for flashing the system into the uh, storage internal storage of the phone like the uh, Lineage OS as well as the OpenGFs so let's copy that into your uh, Galaxy Nexus. Okay, what we can do now is to do a uh, ADB reboot, boot loader to go into fast boot. So now your phone will be booted to the fast boot mode. 
Okay, so once you're in fast boot mode, basically you need to see a lock state. As you can see now, my lock state is unlocked. So virtually it doesn't really need to do anything for me. But if your if your lock state is locked, then you'll need to do a fast boot OEM unlock, which I'll show you later in the video on your computer. Uh, and also doing doing uh, the recovery recovery for flashing and stuff for us to continue on, right? Okay, uh, from here, once you are reboot, rebooted into fast boot, you can do a fast boot devices to ensure your device is connected. So if you don't see anything here, most probably there will be some other issues that you need to rectify. Okay, for those for those who have issues, uh, having issues with the uh, Galaxy Nexus drivers and stuff, I've actually tried multiple, multiple stuff. Uh, multiple ways of doing USB drivers and stuff, but it doesn't seem to work. Well, so the only way that I find that it's pretty useful will be installing a, an app called PDA, dot, uh, PDA Net, where they will update the uh, USB drivers for you. So that actually uh, update both the fast boot as well as the um, ADB drivers uh, successfully onto the Galaxy Nexus. So I'll leave a link down below where you guys can actually download the PDA Net for you to actually set up the drivers. Once you have that set up, you continue on with the process. Like here, you see fast boot, we have detected a device. So what we need to do next is actually to boot into uh, custom recovery so that we can mount the drive for us to copy in the uh, custom ROM files and as well as the GMs. So what we need to do now is to do a fast boot, boot, TWRP. This is the recovery that we have, right? So we will just do that and they will boot into TWRP recovery. So from there, you can select mount and mount your uh, Galaxy Nexus. So actually, once you boot into the um, TWRP recovery, um, your MTP is automatically mounted to the computer. So you can actually transfer in your, your custom ROM files as well as your GF files into the phone itself. Okay, before we start installing this, uh, we'll need to do a wipe. So what you normally do, uh, you can do a factory reset or advanced wipe. But if you look at it, because um, the the file system that we have in the uh, Android is actually Android 4 and the lineage is Android 6. So there are a lot of differences here. So you can actually wipe everything here except for the internal storage. So that you can do a clean uh, flash of the niche so you can just swipe it and uh, just wait for all the all the stuff to be uh, updated correctly so once it's done you can go back go back go back and then do an install again choose the niche and more zips and choose open GMs. then what you need to do now is to just swipe to confirm the flash so they will be flashing the lineage os now and uh, we'll just leave it to complete okay as you can see now the uh, gaps is currently installing and um, after this is done we can actually do a, a wipe cache and stuff and do a reboot and that's that's all i think Okay, uh, we are done with the ins installation. So what we need to do now is just do a wipe for the cache and Delvic cache itself. So after that is done, we can do a reboot. And if you remember, the recovery itself, I just do a boot recovery, meaning after you reboot, there will still be in stock recovery and it's not the TWRP recovery. For my case, because I'm just doing a test, um, not say a test, it's not a long-term thingy. But for you guys, that if you are keeping the custom ROM for a long term usage, it's better to keep the custom recovery as well because it will be easier for you. For me, because uh, I might actually need to flash back to stock later on, so, so it actually doesn't matter whether you do a uh, stock or custom recovery, so that is up to you. Okay, so now what we do is just to reboot the system, do not install, and just wait for the system to boot up. I can detach the cable for now and just wait for the system to boot. The first boot will take pretty long, so just wait it out. 
Uh, we take a look at it once uh, once the uh, boot up is completed then this is uh, more or less done so you can just put on next um, the United States just go next for this one then you wait for a second then you select Wi-Fi network you can skip this if you want for now uh, just skip it and just skip the SIM card and next and skip for this uh, just next and start so as you can see, uh, it's currently running on Linux. Okay, so if you take a look at it, um, this is the uh, features that they have. So um, if you can take a look at the version now, this is a bit more familiar. So it's 6.01 Linux OS, October 1st, 2017 security patch. So it's up to the latest security patch now for this one. And um, it doesn't feel very slow on this. I think it's still running pretty cool up to now. Uh, and you have a basic Google Play Store. So yeah, that's all for now. Um, this phone is updated to Lineage. And I, I would advise if you are still using this phone to actually use Lineage OS. As this, is the, this has the latest security patch and, and it shouldn't have any compatibility issues. So that's all for today. So if you guys have any question in, in um, I mean like issues in flashing lineage, uh, you can actually leave a comment down below. I'll try to, I'll try to see what I can do to help you guys with that. So I'll have another video on showing you guys how to flash back to stop. If you're like me, um, I would spell better stop because uh, I would actually just keep this phone. I won't actually use it that much. I will just take it out and use it once in a while. So most probably I'll just keep it in the stop stock version but if you are using this um, then it's advisable to actually install Lineage and this is one of the most stable ROM that is available so that's all for today uh, if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and if you do like what I'm doing um, just subscribe to my channel and there'll be some giveaways um, in, a, in a short period of time I need some giveaways I've got some stuff that I want to give away so I'll have to make a video of that so that's all for today's so, um, Thank you for watching and bye!